All right, so we're gonna run the Holtzformer 372 with a big board kit on it, board it up. This is one of my race builds. Um, so in previous testing, it appeared as though we were getting some um, uh, some uh, pre-ignition. So I backed the timing off a little bit on it. And today we're gonna give it a quick test run and see how she does, see if it, see if it made any improvements. You know what I mean? Uh, I did mount a tack to it. So from now on, I'll actually be able to have a tack reading and I hope it works out. This tack seems to be a little, its response time seems to be a little slow. So on a small cut, it may not pick it up. Might need to be a little larger on the cut. You know, not huge, but you know, enough that it'll pick it up. You know what I mean? Um, now, whenever I give you tack readings, I can give a flying fart what the free rev is. Uh, I've seen saws that free rev at a lower RPM than what they cut. It is possible. It does happen. And, and I don't do light cuts for my tack readings. It's, my tack readings are under full load, full working load. You know what I mean? I don't hold back. We want to know what she's going to do when she's in the grunt of it. You know what I mean? So even though the saw, let's say the saw is capable of doing 13 in the wood, me holding it back and stuff, I could care less. I want to know what it's doing under heavy load. That's what I'm really looking for. And that's kind of what we're going to do here today. Give it a test run, make sure everything checks out and, and see what she can do under a full working load. So what do you say we fire it up and give it a run? Alrighty. Um, she was faster on the first couple of cuts and then once I got about two or three cuts into it she kind of slowed down a little bit and I think that's just because you know when you're cold you're a little fatter I think that could kind of come into our advantage at a race or something you know what I mean get her warmed up just enough and then go for it the reason is because well, before I get into that, the tachometer does seem to be a little slow on its response time for this. Uh, I'm, I could be halfway through the cut or so until it gives me a number. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll have to look at a different brand. I like this one because of the way it was set up and the way it came and how cheap it was. Mostly how cheap it was. But we'll go for, we'll, we'll see if we can find another one 
that its response time is much faster. But the numbers were, so the first couple of cuts, they 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 were hitting 13.1 to 12.9. But once I got past like two cuts, it started dropping and it settled in at 12,660. So that's what she's cutting in the wood. 12,660 is what I'm gonna call it. But the first, say two cuts, she did, she did do it at 13.1. <laughs> so would you consider this my first time of exceeding 13,000 RPM? Uh, Cause that's been a goal of mine. You know, I've been wanting to exceed 13,000 RPM on a build. So would you call this one the winner? I do not. I want it to stay at 13 or better all the time. So I do not, even though it's capable of doing it. You know what I mean? I want it to be more consistent than this. I have exceeded 13 with alcohol and stuff like that, but never with gas. And that's been kind of a goal of mine. So that's how this guy is. Now it is running an eight pin sprocket. So if I guess if I took it to a seven pin, the chain wouldn't pull as hard on the saw pulling the RPM down. You know what I mean? Then it might actually come up, but I want my race builds to run eight pins and I need them to pull the eight pin with enough authority. You know what I mean? So that's how this guy is. And if you're curious on how the build is, there's a whole playlist on this saw. Every video I've done on this saw is in a playlist. So, uh, I mean, I've chainsawed milled with this saw when I first got it. I mean, when I first got it, it was an e-pay job that had a bad cylinder. And you know what I mean? And it's been kind of one of those things. I went from there to throwing a big bore top end on it and throwing it on the chainsaw mill. And now we've built it into a big bore 372 to take to the races. And this is, what, what, what is this? The five cube this would be the five cube races so it's going to be this one with my dalmar build i haven't finished the dalmar yet so it's going to be one of these two saws but i'm, I'm completely fine taking that to the races oh I did it. you guys got to be nice I did it. Hey, hey, tell tell me tell, hey, tell 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 your brother you love him Tell, tell your brother you love him. Tell your and give him and hugs. It, and it's I don't want to hear about the fighting and stuff. Tell your brother you love him. Give him hugs. Okay? You got to be nice. Be nice. Looks like the boys came to visit. Only two of them were smart enough to wear a jacket today. <laughs> Cody's, Cody's sad. This four wheeler broke. <laughs> it's it's gonna come with the territory. It's been broke down for a long time. We're, it's gonna break a couple of times until we get it right. Now I do want to get a different tack. I feel like the numbers I just gave you are not completely accurate. So we'll see how this progresses in the future. So that's where she is. You boys better not get hurt. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, big grass glob. Huh? But we're gonna be going in to eat some food here. I just I got ham, green beans, potatoes been on a in the slow cooker or not the slow cooker, the big electric roaster. It's been in there for a couple of hours. I'm freaking starving. So I'm getting hungry. <laughs> hangry. <laughs> it's coming. The hangry's coming. But there we are. Uh 372. This is one of those builds. Uh, you know, she's got a lot of crankcase volume. I've done that kind of work to this saw. Um, and it's, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the numbers, the way you're running numbers, you know what I mean? Sure, you increase the volume in the crankcase, but change your numbers to kind of compensate a little. And this is kind of the result of it. Now, go back and watch the build video if you want. Um, you know, there's a playlist. You get to see all the details of how she is. And yeah, alrighty, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.